hi welcome back to the master cam 4th access programming session so in this session i will show you uh, that how we can create bottom toolpath bottom facing toolpath by using uh, pocket 2d pocket program of master cam so here i will select the pocket pocket option so before that uh, we will we will we will open the 2d geometry so you can see these are the geometry and i will select here and i will say hide so now we will create a bottom finishing toolpath we will go to the uh, toolpath tab and here i will select pocket i will select all the curves and then i will say tool i will select the tool i will use a minimum tool like uh, edit mm of end wheel for bottom finishing that will be okay and here i will say cut parameter that is fine I will say leave stock in wall but don't leave stock in set in bottom because we have to finish the bottom. So we will use 25% uh, of step over so that will be great for finishing. And here what we will do we will give a 0.1 mm of depth upward and one pass in 0.5 mm 50 micron. So we will get the better finish and here what we will do I will say minus the depth is minus 10.25 something so i will select that and here i will give a minus 10 start from minus 10 and i will go to the rotary axis control here i will give the rotary diameter that is 130 and then say okay so it will create the bottom finishing toolpath in in one second you can see uh, this is very compact toolpath for bottom finishing so now I will go to the hide and hide tab and here I will show you that how it will work in actual. I will activate the isometric view and I will say active the back plot. So this is the bottom finishing toolpath. So you will get the better finish for finishing. And the main thing you can see uh, how easily we can create these four axis job programs in just fifth or ten second. And also, it's very smooth and compact toolpath. There is no retraction and there is no time pass. So you can save the time. You can increase your productions by using Mastercam 2D fourth axis programming strategies so the next one I will show you uh, drilling toolpath in the same profile so you can see there is a, there is some drilling points available so we will create programming we will create drill toolpath in the same same project we will make it faster So you can see uh, it has been done. And, uh, okay, so now we will create a drill bit toolpath. So you can see uh, now uh, there is no curves, right? So what we will do? We don't have curve. So what we can do? Let's find some ways. I will make it hide. You can see this is the curve so I will say create a curve on the same profile so I, I will get the curve right so I will I will rotate that I will rotate that four times so I will get the I will get the curve toolpath I will get the curve on every point so what I will do I will go to the left view and here I will say transform 
and then say rotate here I will say 360 no I will say 90 degree directly as you can see uh, it should be match right that it is matching perfectly and here we will say not only one time one two or three we need on on all faces three okay so you can see it is looking good let's say copy and then say okay so we got the curves right it's not so much critical so you can get that and i will say uh, i will say uh, select the curves from here and say home and click on the hide so these are all the curves uh, which we had to unwrap we need flatten curve right we don't need the 3d curve so we will go we will use the same method as previously we have done for this so we'll go to the roll tab i will select this curve this curve this curve and this curve and let's say okay all right you can see uh, it has been uh, flattened on the same coordinates okay then say okay so we got the curve right but the main problem is uh, it's not a curve it's a uh, it's it's a break points there may be uh, many points so uh, we need this actual center point so we will use simple method uh, we will create curves and we will create the uh, points directly so it's not looking good i will use circle each point from this point to this point so it is good and uh, i will say create a bit point here it's looking good and i will transform that translate from this point to this point or we can say this point and here you can say one more and one more so you got that so you can see how easily we have created the points and now what we will do we will go to the same toolpath tab and we will use the drill toolpath for that fourth axis drilling so simply we will uh, we will select uh, mask on arc we will select one curve and simply we can draw a window and then you will get the all matching diameter in the same window and you can start the programming let's say okay so we'll go to the tool so the diameter is 7.5 so i will create a 7.5 mm of drill and i will go to the same drill drill tool drill tool and here i will say i need 7.5 mm of drill that should be uh, something like uh, screw machines and the an X and the finish and go to the cut parameter tab and here I will need spectral and the depth of cut I need that is 1 mm and here you can see output format for 4 axis uh, but we are using uh, axis substitution so we don't need that uh, it will be 3 axis and we will use the simple access substitution here we will say access substitution activate that access substitution and here you can give uh, 130 of dia that is the actual dia and here deactivate that and here simply you can go to the linear parameter tab and you can give the depth that is i think uh, if, if the actual diameter is uh, 130 so the depth is i think uh, 10.25 so i will add I will add 130 minus 10.25 so uh, this is the depth no uh, 10.25 that is radially not diametric so we will add 10.25 more minus 10.25 so this is the this is the no it's wrong it's wrong i think uh, it should be 130 minus 20.5 so this is the actual diameter but we have to go in minus so we will add minus 10 mm more and the top stock will be
actually uh, we are not using a uh, 2d tool path right uh, we forgot that because we are we are using axis of fusion so it will be uh, similar to contour and pocket tool path we will make it zero and the depth we will make it uh, minus 20 mm and retraction we can keep zero as top of stock and we will use retraction that should be uh, 50 and then say okay so we got the drill points and we will say hide you can see uh, this is the tool path and i will go to the z view isometric view and i will activate surface and have i will hide that and i will say activate the back plot and then say play so you can see uh, the tool path is going on it's working perfectly and you can see uh, it is working smoothly at the same coordinate so you can see how easily we can create the drilling tool path for fourth axis profiles there is no time pass it's completely time saving tool path okay done so we have done the roughing so first one we have done the roughing second one is uh, wall finishing third one is bottom finishing and the last one is drill tool paths